Hello everybody, Garrett Grover with Rise Armament here. Let's say you've got a couple hundred extra bucks and you are fortunate enough that your significant other has allowed you to spend it on your gun. What do you buy? If it was me and I was upgrading a new rifle, the first thing that I would do is swap out the trigger. The trigger is a shooter's direct interface with the gun and is the only part outside the scope, the barrel, and the chamber that affects accuracy. A couple hundred dollars will make a noticeable difference in the performance of your gun. If my gun already had a fantastic trigger in it, the next thing I would look at swapping out would be the muzzle device. Muzzle brakes are great for reducing muzzle rise and mitigating felt recoil. And flash hiders are great for reducing shooter visible flash in low light situations. So now my gun has a great trigger and a fantastic muzzle device on it. What do I do next? Well, next thing I'm gonna swap out is a handguard. When choosing a handguard, I'm gonna pick one that has a slim profile M-lock slots for attaching components, and free floats my barrel. Free floating your barrel is very important for enhancing accuracy and eliminating outside influences on your barrel. So now my new gun has a fantastic trigger, a muzzle device which I love, and a great handguard. What do I do next? The next thing I would swap out would be the bolt carrier group. I would go to a low mass bolt carrier group to speed up the cycle of my gun and further reduce felt recoil. This may be paired with an adjustable gas block and some sort of tunable buffer system. So these are some simple upgrades that can be made on a budget that I think you will consider to be money well spent. I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or send us an email. Also check us out on our website at risearmament.com. Also like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you.